Hello, and welcome to the Rapid Office Strain Assessment Online. My name is Mike Sun, and I'll be taking you through how to create an account, how to use your user profile, and also how to conduct an assessment using Rosa Online. So let's start by creating a new account. Here you're going to select a username uh, and then input some basic information about yourself. So for the purpose of this, let's go with the username test Rosa, fill out some information here. Our password will be password, and then just put in a few more things here. This information will all be stored on the database and you'll be able to change it later on uh, when you log in with your profile. once we have our account created we'll be able to log in here so now we're logged in to the rapid office strain assessment uh, this is your profile screen and this is going to present you with your basic information uh, that you would input during your create a user phase uh, as well as other information about uh, yourself um, that will be in input uh, for the sake of conducting the study. Uh, on the screen here you'll see uh, in my profile area here that can be updated at any time. Um, additional information uh, that will be used for the purpose of this study. Uh, you'll be able to see your previous assessment scores here and then you'll be able to either start an assessment or contact myself uh, through an email link on here. So let's go in and start a user assessment of our workstation. Now the purpose of Rosa Online is to conduct ergonomic evaluations of your workstation uh, to figure out where uh, additional changes need to be made and also to figure out how to make those changes to your office. So select start assessment and here uh, is the informed consent form. Uh, you can re review the informed consent uh, PDF at any time by clicking this link here. Uh, and this is just uh, information on whether you agree to uh, participate in this research. So let's select I agree to participate and continue on to Rosa. So this is the basic Rosa screen here. Now what we're going to do now is select which postures we're working in uh, based off of these images located here but also based off of uh, the video file found here. So this video will show you how to conduct the assessment of your office uh, based on which posture you're working in. Um, you can look at the video, look at the pictures, read the text here uh, as well as listen to these videos and then select how you're working. So for this assessment, let's say that my chair is too high and that I can't cross my legs under my desk. And then we'll move forward to the next phase. Once again, you'll see images along here uh, to describe your working posture. And you can also watch a video on how to assess the seat pan depth. So for this one, let's say that I've got approximately two to three inches of space between the edge of the chair and the back of my knee and move forward. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to move through these next few slides here. Um, but the idea is to select your working posture as best as you can based off the images and off the video. So moving on to the backrest, um, and this is the first time you'll see the duration score. So if you use your chair for less than one hour a day, if you use your chair for one to four hours a day, or you use your chair greater than four hours per day, you'll select which of these uh, is most applicable to your situation. So being a graduate student, I'm in my chair all day long, select that and move forward. Now on to the monitor section. The same things apply here. Uh, based on how your monitor is positioned, you'll select the box here. So my monitor is too low and I'm using documents without using a document holder so my neck is twisted and I'll select that score. Uh, for the phone, moving forward, uh, for my mouse, mouse position to the side, pinch on the mouse, more than four hours a day, 
and then finally moving on to the keyboard and the discomfort questionnaire. So the discomfort questionnaire is going to allow you to report any discomfort that you're experiencing while working at your computer. Now, as is when you view the screen here, this is indicating that there is no discomfort. Now, the first column here is going to describe how often you experience ache, pain, or discomfort in any of these body parts here. So let's say you're having three to four times per week a neck, um, this is moderately uncomfortable and that discomfort is slightly interfering with your work. You can go through all of these here and, and submit this after your assessment. So now this is the final score screen here. And this is telling me that my rows of final score is 4, uh, the score out of 10 for the chair, the monitor and telephone, and the mouse and keyboard are all listed here. So it was 3, 3, and 4. So now these scores will be saved in your database so you can compare how, you've, uh, how your office has been scored based on how you've adjusted it uh, throughout the course of the experiment. Now the last step here is to take a look at your, your workstation and make adjustments to your office. Now these videos here will describe to you how to actually make adjustments to your chair. And once again, you can watch through the video uh, and it will tell you how to make those chair adjustments based on your current position and also uh, mechanisms that are located on your furniture, how to uh, adjust those. Uh, once again, that'll be there for the monitor, uh, for the keyboard, the mouse, and the telephone as well. And then there'll be some information on stretching. So that's that. We've conducted our self-assessment. So let's return to the My Profile screen. So back in the My Profile screen, you can see down here now that we've done one assessment, and that was at 11.26 p.m. on April 25th, and I achieved a score of 4. So within the My Profile screen, um, you have a few different choices. One of those is to go and actually look at the video library. So the video library here, these are going to be the videos that you can see after you've done your ROSA assessment. So if you just want some information on how to make changes to your office, you can go directly here. Another place to look is the resources page. Now, the resources here that you'll see are just some information on the background behind the Rapid Office Strain Assessment, um, some quick tips for your office, uh, as well as the paper version of the Rapid Office Strain Assessment. These are all located on PDF files here, and you can access those at any time as well. And then finally here, this is just some additional information on myself and the purpose of the research. And you can look at this at any time. So that's the quick introduction to the Rapid Office Strain Assessment. Um, if you do have any questions on this, please feel free to contact me at any time. Um, the contact investigator link found here. Or you can use my email, which is son, S-O-N-N-E, at uwindsor.ca. Thanks, and uh, good luck with the ROSA online application.